Hey, what's going on? So today we are going to review the Hoka Oni Oni Speed Goat Mid Gore-Tex 2 hiking boot. I think that's how you say it. This is the first time you've ever been on my channel. My name is Billy Busby. And sometimes I like to do reviews as my daily vlogs. And today we're gonna go over the Hoka Oni Oni Speed Goat hiking boot. And it's a much longer name than that, but I think that's the only model they have. So if you hear me referring to them as the Speed Goat boots, then that's what I'm talking about. So I got three pros and three cons to the, to the boots. All right, let's start out with the cons. The most obvious con to these shoes is also one of its selling points, the Gore-Tex. These can get fairly warm, but not as warm as you would expect. And that's primarily due to the shape of the top of the shoe, which allows a lot of the heat to escape. Honestly, I've never felt that my feet were too hot in these. And I'm here in South Texas, but it could affect you more. The same shape that allows the foot to stay comfortable can allow in dirt and small debris that gets kicked up while hiking. The lugs are fairly deep, and if you're hiking in thick mud, it will allow the mud to form a pretty thick barrier. First or second time I ever took those boots out on like an actual hike, it had just rained the night before pretty heavy. And as soon as I stepped foot in there, it felt like I was walking on pillows after that, like, and not in a good way. Like I felt like I had no contact with the ground. It just dug in and ate them up. And it could have been because those shoes were new and the lugs were new and everything, but so that, First pro is actually that same con, man. Like the traction on these shoes is amazing. Yeah, you know, I've hiked in some, I don't know, different terrain, right? I hiked in dry terrain with them. I've hiked in wet terrain with them on rocks, dirt, wood, all of it. And I'll say that I never once felt like I, had, I was gonna lose traction or slip or anything even remotely like that with those boots. Other than that first couple of times, I went in like deep mud with them, which probably shouldn't have. So a side note to that is I actually did use the Gore-Tex feature um, on a little minor stream crossing at some point and it, it stayed fine, man, right? So I didn't have any issues with it like sinking into the mud on that and uh, my foot stayed completely dry, no harm to the shoe or boot or anything, man. Like it was absolutely fine. So I own several pairs of Hoka's and one of the first things you'll see when you're researching or reading reviews about Hoka's is that sometimes the fit is a little weird one of the shoes won't fit right, it'll be too loose, too tight. I even had one pair out of the four or five that I own that the left one was just bigger than the right one for some reason, I don't know why. And I will say this, that this is the first pair of Hoka high tops I've ever had. And they fit immediately right out of the box, like superbly better than any of the other Hokas I've ever had, which is weird, right? Because like my other Hokas all fit, like they're phenomenal, they fit perfect, but these, like immediately we're like, wow, this is this is different. And I'm not a big high top wearer. I do wear boots sometimes at work, but those boots are, are phenomenal. They fit superbly and they're super comfortable right out of the box. So one of the best things about buying a Hoka hiking boot is you don't have to break it in. Another worry of mine was actually like the colors. It's like, man, you know, they've either got these bright, crazy looking colors or these this weird brown gray, but Oddly enough, that brown gray boot goes with just about everything that I wear. And I don't just wear these boots hiking, which that's why I bought them. I do wear them to work too on occasion. And man, like they, they went well. I, you know, I didn't get any kind of weird looks or anything like that, like I normally would if I was wearing a, one of these bright, crazy looking hokas. So that color, even though it doesn't look phenomenal like on video or pictures or whatever, like it actually goes with a pretty good bit of stuff. Just to be transparent, I have worn these almost daily, either at work or out hiking. And I know a lot of people were saying they were hard to get on, but that has not been my experience at all. I was expecting it, and I was surprised at how well they went on and off. It goes back to that design of the sides toward the top. It allows comfort, breathability, stability, but also allows small objects to sometimes get trapped in there. That Gore-Tex may not be a needed feature for you, but like if you're gonna wear them to work or out hiking and you just happen to come across a stream or something like that, it's one of those things that you'll be glad you had. I had Gore-Tex boots back when I was in the military and they were always like crazy hot and your feet were like super stinky and stuff afterwards. And these even, yeah, your foot is gonna get hotter, okay? It's gonna happen, but it's not like unbearable and it's not even really noticeable until you take them off hours later, many hours later. And then you're like, oh man, that feels good. But while you're wearing them, at least in my experience, and I'm a big dude, I'm in Texas, 
I have not noticed any issues with the heat and wearing those Gore-Tex hiking boots. So if the money's not a turn off to you, because I think I paid under, right under 200, like 190 to 200 shipped from Hoka Oni Oni, then you could do a lot worse, right? That shoe is so far has been durable, it's comfortable, they're stable, and it's you know fairly stylish. It goes with my wardrobe, which probably says more about my wardrobe than it does about those shoes. But you could do a lot worse as far as a work boot slash hiking boot goes than the speed goats. And hey, if this is your first time checking out my channel and you like what I'm doing here so far, check out a couple of my other videos and consider subscribing. One of my goals is I'm trying to get monetized here on YouTube and I'm gonna need all the help I can get. So anyway, yeah, that's the, that's the speed goats. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for your time. If you have those and you've had some other experiences with them, man, I'd love to hear about it because I want to see what I can expect going forward with them. Or if you have some of the other hiking boots from Hoka, I'm, I'm a Hoka fan. I'm probably going to have to replace these at some point in the future, right? So yeah, man, I'd love to hear what, what you have as far as Hoka hiking goes. So, because I keep hearing more about ultras lately than Hoka. Anyway, all right, hey guys, that's it. Take care, peace.